So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the PG back, uh, base backup. So as we saw in the previous page, we're using three parameters. The first one is the label. This is what I tell the, the, the data. Look, I want to back up and I want you to call this point here, this label. It's uh, where, how can I, we're giving it a, we're naming that backup. Right, for, for the database, we can go back in, in time and check the configuration later, the, the files actually, the, to see what the label is. So let's start doing those things. Uh, for this one here, I need to connect my database, actually your database, su dash postgres, that, that doesn't uh, stop. PSQL, so I gonna here and I gonna label each as backup user one, right? As we can do more backups. So it will take some time. Remember, we have load and it needs flush and need to make everything consistent at this point in time. Remember this expression: the backup is consistent with this very point in time. Right, right, and so, only this point in time. Yes, and we, as we have loads, probably we have a lot of things that needs to be flushed. And can you check the the PMM the checkpoint? You might have a spike of the checkpoint on your PMM. I'm guessing. I do. Yeah. Now we are back to the starting point. Let's do the. They start back up. Can I run with the same name? What is that? Probably. Does it overwrite it or not? That's my price. I don't know. You know the answer, yeah, so why should, are you asking me? Should, should I just press enter? Yes, just press enter. And then you can see what happened. Yeah, I just start on the move. Yeah, and it overwrote it. But you overwrote what? Where is this information? The uh, previous back. Yeah, but where where is this storage? I'm inside of Show the I'm inside of the data folder, right? Here inside of the data folder we have this PG wall. And inside of this PG wall we have a lot of files. This is a decent What is this? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. So what happens here? See, this information here that the PG backup says. This is the the last. We we can find the wall file and the transaction ID that was running. The last one that was committed and pushed to the database with this information. Right. Yeah. By the way. Yes. Um, Question did come in a bit ago. When will PG base backup support incremental backups? Well, it technically does. Is it technical? Yeah, we will. No worries. We we're gonna run through those things. And okay, okay, right. Nice. And what is the difference? The difference from incremental and what is the other one? Differential? Yes, or differential. What do you think? Differential and incremental. Um, you're going to track the incremental changes versus whatever the delta is between two points. Uh, can you elaborate on that one? You elaborated on I'm trying to get your freaking workload up. <laughs> I'm saying we did not. So I no, incremental is you, you're going to track the changes that are, are, are happening. And so if you have like a change to a record that is uh, like it goes A to B to C, you'll get A to B to C. Mm -hmm. And then the differential, if it goes A to B to C, the differential would be A to C. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, 
right? So it's it's okay. Yeah, elaborating on your answer. Yeah, that, that's correct. So let's say, wait, you knew the answer, but you played dumb. Stop that. Just knock it off. <laughs> I'm throwing things at him because I'm in the same room. Okay, let's He's say, driving me nuts. Okay, yeah. Your workload is back. Okay, thank you. No thanks to you. Okay, let's say we have a backup on, on Sunday. Right? Yes. We do a backup on Sunday. We full backup. We back up full back. the full day, the full day, just like Ray Green. Okay. So on Monday, we can just do a backup of the changes that between Sunday, the full backup, and Monday. So only what was changed, we don't need to do a full backup. Right. On Tuesday, we can do, again, all what's changed from Monday to Tuesday. And then, so those are incremental ones, right? We're incrementing them gradually. We always compare with the previous backup. That's yeah. the incremental one. Yeah. So if we need to recover, we, need, we, we have to recover the full backup, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right. whatever, how many incremental ones. Okay. So Where is the differential? The differential, we take the full backup on Sunday, right? Right. So on Monday, we compare what was changed from Monday to Sunday. On Tuesday, we compare what's changed from Tuesday to Sunday. And on Wednesday, on Friday, we compare what was changed from Friday to So the to differentials Sunday. actually get bigger over time. Yes. Incrementals, you have to roll through the incrementals, so you're yes, going exactly. to you have pros multiple. And exactly. yeah. The pros are the incremental backups. The backups, they are faster to do the backup. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, so people want to see. Okay, uh, sure. let's do here we, where we have space. Uh, the root file system. The root file system. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we do have 137 gigabytes. So I just gonna, I'm running as a root. I, I'm gonna just create a folder name in backup. Right, simple. Right. So, and I'm going to do the Chown Postgres because I want to use Postgres for that folder. Okay. Uh, SU dash Postgres. Okay. Now I'm going to create a backup for today. What is today is whatever. Just call backup one. P, here's one side of backup. So, here is where we're gonna put our backup. I'm gonna do the verse, the, the most simple one, which is RC. Hovar. Fabarly. Postgres. I'm gonna copy everything inside of Postgres 13. Q. Backup zero zero one. So that's it. I'm doing the backup. I I could compress and think, but the simplest way is just copy files. So those are my backup. As I told to the database that I want to start the backup, now it's safe for me to physically copy the files, even if the database is running, even if you have the workload running. So okay. it's safe for me to just copy the backups. Okay. Right. So, okay, we, we have to wait for it to finish.